So ease across the legs, prop the hips up if you need to, let the knees drop. Shoulders balance above the hips. Tuck the chin gently in towards the notch of throat. Let the two physical eyes close down. And then just give yourself this moment in time to sit, to be. And the water rises as we sit and as we just take these moments to be. feelings through the body that grab your attention? Is there an ease in sitting or a discomfort, a dis-ease in sitting? Let the breaths lighten and become a little more spacious if you could. Start to slow the breaths down. As you slow the breaths down, bring the awareness into the nostrils. What is the feeling of the breath through the nostrils? Is there a coolness to the incoming breath? Is there a warmth to the outgoing breath? Slower and deeper than your natural rhythm. Coolness to the incoming breaths. And warmth of the outgoing breath. Start to notice as one nostril dominant. Is there more airflow through one side? If it's right side nostril dominant, it means the left side brain is currently working more. If it's your left nostril dominant, it means the right side of the brain is currently working more. So working with alternate nostril or Nadi Shodhana, if you've got blockages, you may prefer to keep the hand down. If there's no blockages, bring the right hand up, seal off the right nostril with the thumb just below the bridge of the nose. Exhale down your left nostril. Then inhale up your left nostril, seal it off, open your right nostril. Exhale fully. Inhale right nostril, seal it off with the thumb, open your left nostril and exhale fully. That's one round, continuing your time. So you inhale left, Seal it off, open the right, exhale fully. Inhale, right nostril, seal it off, open the left, exhale fully. That's two rounds, continue your timing. Try to keep the breath balanced. So inhales, exhales, same length. Right nostril, left nostril, same length. See how you go.
Make sure you keep your chin tucked in to melt your throat. Relax the shoulders, support the elbow if there's a soreness. Change hands if you prefer. Last exhale for you, down the left nostril, then completing. So no rush, when you next exhale, down your left nostril, complete the Nadi Shodhana. Let the hand drop away, be still. Once you do, come back to the stillness, natural breaths, and just notice how you feel. Nadi Shodhana balances the energies right and left through the body, balances Ida Pingala. Balances the brain. Notice how it feels for you once you finish. Sit into the stillness. Perhaps you feel more calm, maybe more centered, more balanced. Just feel, sit, breathe, be conscious. Take your left fingertips out long and wide, tilt your head away to the other side. So right fingertips long, tilt the head to the left, get the stretch. And then head centers, change sides, left fingertips long, tilt your head away to the right. And stretch down the other side. Inhale, head centers, walk the hands out in front of you. Bring them through as far as you're comfortable to do. If you're one of those postures and you can't come forward at all, if you're just not able to come forward and you feel the chest is collapsing, then just pull the chest up, don't go so high. If you're one of the postures that you can walk it forward but you feel the buttocks come up off the mat, push them back, try to create that little bit of length. Noticing where it feels for you this morning. Doesn't matter how deep, try and keep the chest lifted, the spine long, the butt buttocks anchored. Lift the head and chest slightly, walk your hands across to your right diagonal corner as far as you can. Make sure that left buttock hip stays anchored, can you feel a stretch on that left side? Keep the left shoulder down in the body, don't let it hitch up near the ear. Keep pressing back from the hands, keep pressing the buttock back or chest lifting wherever that is for you. Head and, left, head and chest lift, inhale, across to the left side as you exhale. Notice the second side. So again, if you're hitching the right side up, anchor it down, buttock down, shoulder down, side body long. As you walk the arms to the diagonal, notice the feeling. Inhale, head and chest lift, come back to center. 
Bring it out long again. Notice is there any more length available there for you? Again, if the buttocks are lifting up, push them back. If you can't come forward, lift your chest up while you keep the length. Walk the hands in as you inhale, coming up. Change the legs to the unnatural sides so across the other leg in front. So be careful around the joints of knees, hips, ankles this time. Inhale, and as you exhale again, hands walk out in front. Does any joint anywhere in particular stop you from coming forward? Feel where it is for you. Shoulders broad, spine lifted, buttocks anchored back or chest lifted higher if you can't come forward. Don't collapse it. Head and chest lift a little, hands across to your right again, to the diagonal. Find the stretch, find the length. Keep that left buttock anchored back, don't let it hit sharp. Waist wide, shoulder down. Head and chest lift on the inhale, across to the left as you exhale. Walk them across as far as you're comfortable to do. Again, keep that right shoulder down, keep the right buttock and hip down and back, the side body lengthening. Bring it back to centre. Slide it long, again, where is that for you? And then your choice, if it's easy for the joints, simply tilt the buttocks and roll over the legs. If not, swoop the legs around to the side and come up on the hands and knees. Dip the spine, inhale, looking up. Exhale, roll the spine, look in towards your navel, in time with your breath. Remember if you're frowning as you look up, look down the tip of the nose instead. Moving with the breaths. After the alternate nostril, let that breath a little more slow. Do you feel a little bit more calm within? Energies feel a little bit more balanced. What do you notice this morning? And you're next looking at your navel, stay there. So once you're back there, roll the shoulders forward by pushing the hands down through the mat. Tuck the chin in and up to notch your throat. Can we breathe across the upper back, open it up. Knees and tops of feet press down, so you're trying to pull your knees forward towards your hands. Does that activate the stretch differently for you? Where do you feel engaging? And then exhale fully, lift the navel to the spine consciously. Tuck your toes, push your buttocks back to the heels with the toes tucked. Stretch arches of feet, toes, Achilles, where's that for you? Keep the shoulders broad across the upper back. And then simply lift the knees off the mat and come up to down dog. Push up and back, stretch back long. Lift both heels high off the mat. You might want to walk the hands a little bit further in front. Roll the shoulders forward towards wrist, bend the knees, hover them off the mat, push the heels and buttocks close towards each other and then up high as if you're in down dog. Heels lift high, roll shoulders above wrist, bend the legs, hover and push the bottom back towards the heels, then legs straighten up, heels come up, roll it forward. Keep it moving, your timing. A little bit of strength work, warming the body up as we lift and roll forward and then bend the knees and push back low before we straighten the legs up again. A couple more rounds. Next time you come forward into your plank position, position it so you've got your shoulders above the wrist and you can hold it steady. Feel does your core body activate yet just by holding. Breathe into it. Slow, steady breaths. Without rocking it too much, slide the right hand forward, knees down to the right forearm. Left hand forward, knees onto the left forearm. You're in a forearm plank. Hold into it strong. Put knees down if you feel you're collapsing or dropping in your back. Feel the body waking up, just doing a little bit of strength work. Lower the pelvis down and we're into sphinx. 
Stay on the forearms and feel they're pulling back towards us. Adjust the elbows a little more forward if you need to. They're below the shoulders or in front slightly. Feel the hands drag back, chest pulls long. Tops of feet pressing, keep breathing. Now without letting the chest drop, bring the right hand in, bring the left hand in. Cobra up dog, lift it up to where you can. Seal the shoulders back. Roll over the feet to down dog. Take the buttocks up, stretch back long. This one, walk it out on the spot. Bend and straighten the legs individually. Swing the hips side to side. Mobilize shoulders and neck. Where is it for you? And when you're ready to, find the stillness in your posture. Slow, steady breath in. Slow, steady breaths out. Feeling through your posture, are you balanced? Is there length? Breath steady and calm. changes. So if you're not feeling your posture anywhere differently now, could you make a subtle change? Could you adjust it slightly and feel somewhere differently in the posture? Weight the hands, wave into the feet, unlock the knees if they're locked, unlock elbows, broaden shoulders, lift the body a little bit more away from the thighs perhaps, a subtle change of what occurs in the body. What do we notice? What do we feel? Lift your heels, hips, head and chest. Step or jump to the front of your mat. Lift your heart, extend your spine. Fold your body to your legs. Push down through the feet, wide arms to come up. Reach up to the ceiling, clasp the hands, turn the palms up. Arch the chest up. Feel the front body lift, feel you're not dropping into your back body, but arching and opening. Wide arms to the mat, fold your body to your legs, surrender in. Inhale, lift your heart, extend your spine. Hands flat, step or jump out to your plank. Lower chaturanga, seal your shoulders back. Lift through, cobra up dog. Slight adjustment, if you always come up really high, bend the arms a fraction. Try and pull that chest a little bit more forward. Tops of feet press, adjust, push the hands more actively. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up, stretch back long. Bend the knees a fraction more. Shoulders broader, chin in, make a subtle adjustment. Buttocks extend back longer, what is it for you? Slow the breath. Lift the ribs up into the back a little more. Inhale, right leg straight up, flex the foot. Knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, round the back. Leg goes up, roll the leg up, hip up, look up under the right underarm. Point the toes, stretch high. Bend the knee, then bring the knee to that right shoulder, elbow. Shoulders above wrist, hover strengthen. Take the bent knee up high again, open up that right side, stretch it up. Bring the knee underneath to the left elbow, hover, strengthen. Take the leg back up, roll the hip up, take the leg up straight again, stretch it. Step the foot up through the hands, back knee down and plank. Wide arms and up, reach up, stretch up. Keep the arms up as you come into your lunge. Push into the foundation, switching on. Slow the breath as you open up. Feel lengthening, feel opening. And 
Exhale, wide arms and down. Pull the front toes up. Adha Hanumanasana, stretch the back of the leg. Heel digs in, but it pushes out long. Lift the chest, tuck the chin. Unlock the right knee. And again, subtle adjustment. Does the posture feel differently anywhere for you? Notice where it is. Keep breathing into it. Maybe the chest a little higher. Maybe the leg a little more bent, the heel pressing down more actively. And then exhale, let the foot flatten to the mat. Come up onto fingertips, round the upper back, chin in, trying to put the forehead on top of the knee or thigh. So you've got to push away from the right foot, press down through the left knee or foot. Shoulders broader, chin in deeper. Keep moving the back higher up behind you, rounding it up to get the forehead onto the top of the leg. Then flatten the hands down, tuck the toes, right leg steps back to three-legged dog. Once you do, dive your chest through the hands, cobra up dog, lift through, arch up, seal the shoulders back. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up, stretch back long. Left leg goes up, straight up, stretch it. Knee to nose, shoulders above wrist, round the upper back, make it strong. Take the leg up, roll the left hip up, ribs up, look up under the underarm. Stretch the leg, point the toes. Then we bend the knee, knee to that left shoulder, elbow, shoulders and wrist stack. Hover, strengthen. Take the knee up, keep it bent, three-legged. Bring the knee underneath to the right elbow, hover, strengthen, pause. Then take the leg up straight, stretch it out behind you. Step the foot up through the hands so you get through deeper after all that opening. Back knee down, wide arms and up. Stretch up. Let your body come into the lunge. Keep lengthening, push into the foundation, stretching. Where do you feel the opening? And then one more breath, reaching up. Wide arms and down, pull the front toes up, dig the heel in. Adha Hanumanasana. Where do you feel the stretch on the back of this left leg? Slow the breath. Lift the sternum, tuck the chin, bend the leg a little more, dig the heel into the yoga mat, extend the sit bone back. Where do we feel? Are we awakening, noticing? Is there change occurring? Are we conscious of it? And exhale, the foot flat to the mat, knee stacks above the heel, up on the fingertips, roll the shoulders broad, chin in, push into the foundation, push away from the left foot, shoulders broader, spine longer, forehead on top of the left knee, thigh. How can you get it there? What can you adjust? Exhale fully, flatten the hands, step back, left leg up into three-legged dog, stretch it out behind you. Dive the chest down, cobra up dog, left foot comes down as you glide up. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up, stretch back long. Unlock knees, unlock elbows. Adjust the body slightly to where you normally hold it and feel the difference. Breathe into the different experience, the subtle change. And exhale fully, lift the heels, hips, head and chest, step or jump, front of mat. Lift the heart, extend the spine. Fold the body, hold the back of the ankles and fold in close. 
the feet are going to do the balancing, legs stabilizing, upper body folding into these legs, what do you notice? Shift the weight slightly on the feet if you're not sure. How we balance, lengthening. And exhale, push through the feet, wide arms come up. So activate the feet, push down to rise up. Clasp the hands, turn the palms on. Arch the chest up, stretch the front body again. And then bring the spine to neutral, feel your difference. Arms right, hips left. Side body lengthening. Feel where that stretch is. Inhale, center, second side. Arms left, hips right. Inhale, center. Arch up again and let the arms drop beside you. Bring the spine neutral. Close the eyes, take a moment to dasana, mountain pose. When you're ready, hands on the hips, simply lift the right leg up into Vrachasana, foot to the inside into your left leg. Focus the eyes. Hands on the hips, are they balanced? Wide arms or heart center, your choice. Give yourself a moment, just stabilize and breathe. Foundations, how does it feel? Upper body, relax. Could you close the eyes for a moment and then notice that visual? Do you fall out of the balance? Open the eyes, release the foot down, second side. Hands on the hips, lift the left foot, place it inside your right. Wide arms, hips or hands at heart center. Focus and breathe. Hold into it. And then simply close the eyes. Is one side more stable? Do you fall out on one side? What happens for you? Open the eyes if you fall out. Just come back in and close the eyes again. Open the eyes when you're ready. Release the left foot down. Hands beside you. Bend the knees, bring the hands in front together, Suri Namaskar B. Sit into those legs for a moment as deep as you can. You keep the legs bent, but lift up a little higher, take the arms upwards. Fold the body, hands to the floor, folding onto those legs. Lift your heart, extend your spine. Hands flat, step or jump plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, cobra up dog, lifting through. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up, stretch back long. Left heel turns in, step your right foot up inside your right hand. Warrior one, bring the arms up and pause into your lunge. Foundations active, press into them. Relax the shoulders down into the body. Push the feet down into the yoga mat. Feel the legs are strong, seal the muscles to the bone. Couple more breaths, just hold into the steadiness. And the next exhale for you, hands down, lift the back heel, step back plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, cobra up dog, lift through. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up. Right heel turns in, left foot steps up inside of your left hand, and then wide arms and up. Float the body and arms up. Come down into your foundations. Press into four points on each foot. Balance into them. Legs seal the muscle to the bone. Feel them activate. Tailbone to crown of head. One line of energy. Shoulders to fingertips. Long arms or hands together. Your choice. Remember if you're pinching arms further in front. Try not to force. Slow the breath. Really activate the legs. Feel where you are from the foundations working up. And then one more breath. Reach to the fingertips. 
Wide arms and down, lift the back heel, step it back to plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, cobra up dog, lift through. Downward facing dog, take the buttocks up, stretch back long. Unlock knees, unlock elbows. Lift your body slightly differently. Slow the breaths. Subtle change, what occurs through the energy of the body, your awareness. Exhale fully, lift the heels, hips, head and chest, you're jumping your feet behind the wrists, toes out, heels in, down into Malasana, your yogic squat as deep as those hips will allow, thumbs to sternum, tuck the chin in, if you've got sore joints, remember stay higher, it doesn't matter, wherever you can, thumbs to sternum, lift the chest, tuck the chin, now pull your tailbone through, tuck it under. Round the shoulders out behind you, broaden the back as if you're rolling it. And then reach the arms forward for the edges of the yoga mat, in floor in front, or reach around and grab the back of your ankles. Roll your crown of head towards the yoga mat as deep as you can. The buttocks might lift a little bit, that's okay. Just roll it in as deep as you can. Pull against the ankles or the yoga mat, or push away from the floor, your choice. Now roll the back up, arm balance if you're coming into it, hands on the mat, grip with the fingertips, Bakasana. Lift the knees higher against the back of arms, shift the body weight forward, will those feet come up? Now if you're not weight bearing all the way in your arms this morning, just lean over the hands as far as you can, self-preservation will kick in and push back. So hold your arm balance or lean forward and push back. It's the same feeling, pressing away from the floor. Find a balance point in it, and then everyone step or jump it out to your plank. As soon as you're in plank, lower down chaturanga, lift through cobra up dog, open up, and then back to down dog. Keep the feet long and you're coming forward to plank again. I know it's upper body strength work, hold it where you can. Now this time without rocking and rolling too much, slide the left forearm down, then the right forearm down and we're in forearm plank. Hold into it where you can, keep breathing. Do you need to lift the hips a little bit more? Push the forearms down and away from you, shoulders back. Then lower the pelvis into sphinx, elbows below the shoulders or a little in front. Feel you pull the forearms back, the chest pulling long. Tops of feet pressing, legs engaging. Doesn't mean we're squeezing the glutes actively, it just means we're activating our legs. We're not pinching or jamming anywhere. We're supporting. Now without dropping in the chest, left hand into the chest, right hand, and you're up to cobra up dog. And then make a subtle adjustment in it. Maybe bend the arms a little bit more if you always knock them up straight. Could the chest project longer, shoulders seal back, lift and open. Then to down dog, take the buttocks up, stretch back long. Lengthen and breathe. Steady the breath. Right leg up behind you, straight up stretch it. We're stepping the right foot inside of your right hand. Simply lift the left leg up behind you, standing split. Right hand on the right calf. Point the left toes up to the ceiling and try and bring your body as close to the right leg as you can. Keep lifting those left toes, stretch them off. Right hand and calf press against each other, that gives you balance. Roll the outer edge of the left hip forward and down, square the hips. 
Now lift the head and chest away from the leg, Adha Chandrasana. Right hand forward and wide at the right foot, left side open up. Look up to that left hand as best you can. Open up. Lift the top leg, engaging. And then exhale, left hand down. Square the hip, flex the foot. Right arm up, twisted version. Find the stability on this right leg, right glute. Make sure you're not pinched in your hip. Right hand down beside the right foot. Left hand walk it back. Simply step the left foot back and then the right foot back and you're in your down dog. Push away from the hands and stretch the buttocks up. Second side, an easy lift. Left leg up nice and high behind you. Step the foot up inside edge. As soon as you do, push off and lift your right leg up in the air. Left hand on the left calf. Right toes to the ceiling and bring your body onto your left leg as close as you can. Now notice if the outer edge of the right hip's rolling up, bring it down and forward. Try to balance the pelvis. Keep breathing, balance pelvis, standing split. Point those right toes up. Now lift the body away from the leg, left hand out in front wide. Adha Chandrasana, take the right arm up. Open up, can we look up, strengthen and stabilize. Keep breathing. And then the twisted version, right hand down, square the right hip, left arm up. Push that left buttock hip back long. Make sure you feel the gluten leg working, not jamming on the front hip. Twist up, open up. And left hand down beside left foot, right hand walk it back, step the right leg long, left leg step it back and you're in your down dog. Broaden those shoulders, adjust your down dog, make it different, change it up. Lift the heels, hips, head and chest, step or jump front of mat. Pull the sternum forward. Fold your body to your legs and again hold the back of the ankles. Second time, does it balance more easily for you? Folding in. This one you might like to slide your hands up onto the back of the calves. Bend the legs a little more. Roll the back higher so the forehead is more towards the knee level now and your back's more rounded. Broaden it, lengthen it, stretch into it. And then slide the hands down to the ankles again, deepen down on the front of the legs again. Does the stretch feel different? Push down to rise up, press into the feet, wide arms come up, reach up, touch, hands onto hips. Give yourself a moment, close the eyes, be still. Is there balance? Is there length? What do we feel? Open the eyes and then your choice. Vrikshasana with the right foot inside edge or right foot into Adhavada on the front of the left thigh. So your choice this morning, foot on the inside edge or inside edge. Where can you balance? Then hands at heart center, wide arms, hands stay on the hips and just hold, staying upright this morning. Foot on the front of the thigh or Vrikshasana inside edge. Could you close the eyes? Could you balance? What does it feel like for you? If you fall out, just come back in. Open the eyes when you're ready, hands on hip. Lift the right knee in front, lift the leg. You're gonna bend it back behind you, swing it back and reach for the big toe side of the foot. Natrasana, left arm in front, thumb and first finger connect. Inhale, pivot from the hip, kick the right leg up behind you, left arm in front. Find your balance. Bring the outer edge of your right hip forward and down. Square your chest as you kick back. And then come all the way back up to standing, knees together. 
Release the arm, release the foot. Second side, left leg comes up as soon as you're ready. Foot on the front of the right thigh or into Vrachasana. Once you settle yourself, hands of heart, wide arms or on the hips. Close the eyes, what happens? So notice we take the visual away, what changes? Where does our focus go? It's challenging, makes us switch on and focus differently. If you fall out, come back in. Then when you're ready, open the eyes. In your time, hands on hips. Bring that left leg in front of you. Swing it up behind you and reach back for the big toe side of the foot. Right arm comes in front. Thumb and first finger connect. Inhale. Pivot from the hip. Exhale. Kick the left foot up behind you. Try to bring the outer edge of the left hip forward and down. Right arm forward, counterbalancing. Unlock that right knee if it's hyperextended. Find your balance. And then inhale, lift it up. Release the foot, release the arm. Give everything a bit of a shake out and a roll out. As you do, step out along your yoga mat. Wide stance, feet forward. Hands on the hips. Forward fold, inhale. Pivot from the hips and fold into your wide leg forward bend. Keep the hands on the hips all the way. Bend the legs a little more if you need to. Pressing down through the feet. Shoulders broad, collarbones long, elbows wide. Slow your breaths. Settle into the forward fold, feel where it is. Make a subtle change. Notice. Lift a little bit. Go a little deeper. Bend the legs a little bit more. Feet pressure is a balance. Where can you change and feel a little differently? Being aware of trying to balance or reposition slightly. What changes in this posture for you? Where does the awareness go into? And then press down to rise up. Push into the feet, come all the way up. Once you're all the way up, trikonasana, turn the feet to the right. Arms up, shoulder high, inhale. Reach to your right, leg, ankle, foot. Big toe bind. Look up, forward or down, your choice with your neck, depending how it feels today. Slow the breath. Make sure you're active from the foundations up. Steady and calm. Arm, bring it long beside the ear. Stretch. Push away from the foundations. Roll it down and push to come up. Second side, turn your feet to the left. Inhale. Exhale, reach long to your left. Leg, ankle, foot, big toe bind. Press away from those foundations. Keep them balanced. Subtle adjustment, if you always go to that one spot, maybe lift a fraction higher, engage the feet a little bit more. Can the body adjust slightly if you've dropped anywhere? Is the top arm in line with the shoulder, not falling behind it? Can you keep your eyes focused and still? Is it the bottom side of ribcage? cage? Does it need to come through a little bit more? Notice the subtle change. Where does it change through the whole body for you? And then 
that top arm, bring it long. Stretch it, sweep it down. Twist it, trick it, us, and I come up all the way to your right foot. Left foot wide and left arm long. Inhale, reach out long, extend your spine. Left hand down, right arm up, twist. Tailbone to crown of head, can you feel one line of energy? Extension in the spine. Rotating, twisting, looking up. Foundations balanced, a subtle adjustment again. Where could you change it up? Creating some difference, some length, some opening. Feel where you are in it. And then look down, push the rise up, turn to the back end of the mat, to your left foot. Bring the right arm out in front of you long, adjust the feet so you're stable. Reach long so you extend your spine. Then bring the right hand down, left arm up. Keep the pelvis balanced, keep the legs working. Tailbone to crown of head, is there one line of energy? Do you need to make a subtle adjustment? Twist up, open up, looking up if you can. Where's the change for you? Keep breathing. Exhale fully, look down, push to rise up. Come all the way back to the front of your mat and you're into your down dog. Take the buttocks up, stretch back long. All right, holding into this down dog, a few breaths, steady into it. Lift the body a fraction, make that subtle adjustment. Then could you lower down to your forearms at exactly the same time? If not one and then the other. Now if you feel there's too much pressure in your shoulders, walk your feet back and keep pushing away from your forearms. If you're stronger in it, keep pushing away from forearms, shoulders not collapsing forward. Walk your feet closer into yourself if you can. So buttocks go higher. Then right toes up to the ceiling. Push into the forearms to stretch up. Lift the leg high. Keep yourself strong. Lower the right leg down, then left leg up. Lift it, push away from foundations, make sure you're not collapsing. Lower the foot down, walk the feet back a little bit longer, clasp your hands in front of you. Now if your elbows have slid out wider than your shoulders, walk them in a little bit closer. Clasp hands, keep the hands clasped, but make the hands go wider. Walk the feet in and put your crown of head on the yoga mat as if you're coming into your headstand. Those of you who are able to do full headstands, simply come up into your tuck or straight legs and come into your headstand, go to the wall if you need to. If you're getting used to this feeling, just gently keeping the head on the floor. Push away from the forearms and keep in the tuck with your feet on the floor. Your choice, playing with headstand, aligning into it where you can. Press down through your forearms, make sure you're not collapsing on your neck. Steady the breaths. When you're ready to release out, simply come to your child pose. Bring the arms back beside the feet, palms turn up, and forehead resting in your time. Tuck your chin in and up. Make sure the forehead is resting. If it doesn't reach the mat, stack the hands. Bring your chin in and up to notch your throat. Now press through the shins, firm the belly, and roll up. 
Coming up to kneeling, keep the chin tucked, neck long. Once you're all the way up to kneeling, clasp the hands behind the back, pull the arms away, take the jawline up to the ceiling and jut the bottom jawline up. Stretch the front neck through. Bring it back in, bring the head to neutral. Tilt the left ear down, bring the clasped hands to the left side body and feel the stretch come down the right side. Neck, shoulder, arm. Chin in, ribs in. Really feel a stretch on that right side. Head centers, hands pull out long. Second side, right ear down, hands to the right side waist. Feel the left shoulder seal down. Chin in, ribs in. Feel a stretch on this left side. Neck, shoulder, arm. centers, pull the arms along behind you, pop the chest forward, squeeze the shoulder blades back and try and touch the clasped hands down at the floor behind you. Really opening the upper chest, right up high, pull the arms back, lift the chin up, stretch. Bring it all, all the way back to neutral. Once you're neutral, let the hands rest on the knees. Give yourself a moment. We're just going to do an easy coming back up to your down dog. So hands out in front, lift off the knees. Once you're in your down dog, swivel your toes to the left, the heels to the right. Drop this right hip down towards the yoga mat as deep as you can. Swivel all the way back up, second side, heels to the left. Drop the left hip down to the yoga mat as deep as you can. Bring it all the way back up to the ceiling, push back to your down dog. Slowly come to the knees, hover the knees off the yoga mat. Keep the shoulders broad, the hands pushing down. Lift the belly button into the spine, chin in, round the back. Then lower the knees down, cross the ankles or swing to the side. Come through to sit. Paschimottanasana, long legs in front. Sweep the arms up, reach up. Reach forward for your legs, ankles, feet. Fold your body to your legs. Lengthen into where you can this morning. Shoulders seal back and the sternum pull long. Let the body slump. Once you do, chin in and up to notch your throat. Surrender completely. So your choice, stay here for a little bit longer, or those of you wanting to roll up to inverted shoulder stand, press through the heels, roll the body up, roll all the way back to the mat and invert to shoulder stand, or you might want to stay in this forward roll slumped a little bit longer, whatever feels best for you. If you're rolling up to shoulder stand, make sure you're active in it, lifting the legs, the body. You have converted up to the shoulder stand. Make sure the triceps are working. Spine lifting, big toes touch. If you're enjoying this forward slump, stay not surrender. If you're still in the slump, roll the back up when you're ready. Roll down to the mat. Those of you inverting, do counter poses. Shavasana, give yourself this moment in time. Back body resting into the mat. Notice how it feels. Is there balance or are there differences? If you roll down from buttocks to shoulders, you should be in alignment. If there's differences, notice those. 
any aggravation or pain, readjust out of it. Otherwise, feel your body surrendering. Let yourself breathe. Let yourself be in the moment. If you've never taken the feet a fraction wider, maybe take them a fraction wider. If you've never taken the arms higher or lower, adjust them slightly. And then surrender again. And just notice the subtle difference, what occurs through the system for you. What do you notice? Let yourself breathe into the subtle change that you made. Witnessing feelings through the body. Notice your mind is wandering, bring it back. As we rest, we'll just give ourselves a few more moments. Imagine just floating on the ocean. Just that gentle ebb and flow of the water, gently rocking. There's a weightlessness to the body, feeling you're supported. There's a freedom in just floating, feeling supported so you can surrender. How does that feel for you? The freedom to float, the freedom to feel unsupported, to feel supported, and just to be. Start to lengthen and deepen those breaths. As the breath start to deepen, rub thumbs and fingers, wriggle toes. Open closing hands and flexing feet back and forth. Circle joints, ankles and wrists, full rotations. Opposite direction in your time. When you're ready, stretch the arms up and over, reach long and sigh and soften, twice more. And after your last stretch, simply bend the legs up, roll to your right. And then move slowly, coming up to sit when you're ready. Thumb and first finger gently touch, turn the palms up. Give yourself a moment just to be. As 
this spaciousness, stillness, quiet, calm, balanced, awakened, lighter, heavier. What do you feel? Does anything change as you take a moment more just to sit, just to be? Next inhale, deeper breath in, let those arms sweep up, connect the hands together and touch to the forehead. As we move through life, we move through life with thoughtfulness. Touch the hands to the lips as we move through life. We have kind words. And bring the hands to the heart. As we move through life, we have compassion. And we have kindness. Namaste. Hold the body, stretch long, be still. Rock it out, whatever works for you. And you're ready, rolling up. Have a lovely day.